Hi, we're here with Bob Crummert, and he's the managing editor of Restaurant Hospitality Magazine. Bob, how long have you been observing the restaurant industry? 20 years as an editor, and for another about 15 years, I was both a chef and an operator in a wide range of operations, from the very finest dining to work camps in Alaska. So you must have had a different perspective to look at the industry than most journalists would. Well, not to pat myself in the back, but my sense of nuts and bolts and frustrations and costs, and if you've been in the meetings where the numbers get shifted around, and uh, yes, it gets you that, that perspective. I don't know how much that helps, but I have that, yeah. And what do you think has been the biggest evolution in the food service industry in your time covering it? In the whole time, you know, there used to be a time when you used to, you used to go to a, grab a quick meal and you'd go to something, and I'd say like in the 80s, early 90s, the meal became the entertainment in itself. That, to me, that's the biggest. That and the fact that, no, I still can't get over that people put sauce, I, I was trained as a chef, sauce over, sauce over is your presentation, now it's sauce under. It just seems wrong to me, but, but I would say the meal as the event, the meal as the entertainment. And what do you think about the whole independent restaurant segment? How do you think they're faring or have fared during the recession as compared to chains? Well, that's a really good question. Uh, the ones that have held back, cut costs, and tightened everything up, I don't know if that's going to win the day. The one that really, uh, without breaking the bank, tried something new, tried to be aggressive, this night, this promotion, that special, those are the ones. It's more of a marketing question than whether your food's good or not. Most of them make money on the weekends, they don't do so well during the week, but many independents, even more so than the chains, have figured out that the way you make, you make your money right now is on the beverages. Get them in there, break even on the food, sell them a glass of wine, sell them a cocktail, sell them a $2 soft drink, sell them a $3 iced tea. That's what's keeping them going. So I, for many, it's more of keeping going than really uh, taking a lot of money to the bank right now. And in terms of marketing and PR, is there any um, silver bullets that you've exper seen through the years that almost always work for the independent operator? Uh, through the years, not so much. I would say after my experience today, it's, it's the, face the social media because it doesn't cost anything. As you learned in the session this morning uh, at this event here, uh, if you can have, if you can ride herd on the, on the Facebook and the Foursquare and the other your email, uh, that costs the same for everybody. So that's going to be a big leveler, we hope, for the independents. Because certainly, the, we learned today the chains are all over it. Do you think that, as a rule, good people gravitate to the restaurant industry, or do you think the restaurant industry tends to make people better? Well, you get more independent thinkers. You get a lot of young kids. You get people who haven't quite found their, their niche in life. And there, there is, especially at Independence and also at Chains, there is a sense of family. The problem is they stick with it for a few years, but they're not making it. Most, unless they wait tables, they don't make a lot of money. So if they want to, all of a sudden they want to buy a car or they get a girlfriend and they come out buying a house, then they tend to turn over. But it's a good short-term job, and that's a problem for the industry is making them longer. Managers sometimes do well. Uh, but it's tough. Yeah. And, and the name of your magazine is Restaurant Hospitality. How do you think hospitality has evolved in your time in the food service industry? Well, during my time, it was a lot of the rise of the quick service where there isn't a whole lot of hospitality. So I'd say it's noticed more when you get it. I mean, the, the definition of hospitality, I go with the Danny Meyer version, which the, as a customer, you want to feel this restaurant is on my side. And that's, you can't say it better than that.